All right, so uh, for this one, I just want to show you how you would load your project, your family into your project. We've been working in the family. Um, this is very similar to what you did um, initially with the first project. So I'm just going to open up the project that I've been working on here. So not completely finished, but good enough to show you what it looks like to load in. So this is the family. Right, you can see it's assignment for lecture. Um, it's an RFA, which is a Revit family file. Uh, we've been working in the conceptual mass. And then I'm going to go to open, and I'm going to open up my project 16 by 16. And load it in there, because you'll notice that in the family, you probably have noticed already, it's quite limited. There's no rendering, there's no sheets. It's really more of a sort of design environment and once you're ready to um, document your object you're going to want to open up your project and then I'm going to control tab back to my family and I'm going to load it into project. So click load into project. It's going to turn on the show mass mode. I'm going to click close and I'm going to place this. Now, I've set it up for a 16 by 16, and I went over that with my um, with my shade. So I'm just going to left click here and place it in the middle, and it's going to tell me there's just some planes in here, and that's fine. Um, okay, so if I go to my 3D view, here I am in the project with my family inserted in the project. Now, one thing we haven't discussed completely is that we've been using planes, you know, for um, quick shadow studies. You may want to update those to solids, um, and there'll be a couple of videos um, on how to do that as well. But I'm in here, so now I'm in my project, so now I can do whatever I want. I can, you know, Let's go to shaded, right? You can come in and you can render, you can, you know, set up your, there's some sheets in here again, you know, that are set up. So there's a floor plan, you know, a basic section, another basic section, right? And you guys, like I said before, can use your previous project, um, as a template if you'd like, you know, if you've already set up all of the settings that you like. Now, um, I'm not going to go over a whole bunch of this because you've already done this in another project, right? Setting up the views and all that kind of stuff and rendering. Um, the next thing I'd like to go over is um, giving your pattern thickness. All right, so when you get it in here and take a section of it, you know, that it's something more than just a really thin line, you know, where you're getting a, a section through it. Okay, so we'll talk about that 